guys, it's Adam and welcome to a car boot haul. Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So today I went to an indoor car boot and I got quite a lot of items. Mainly bread and butter, however there are a couple of nice finds in there. Well, specifically one find that I'm really excited to share with you. I'll leave that for a little bit though because I've got plenty of other bits and bobs to show you. I went, yeah, I don't know if I just, I, I literally forgot what I just said. But anyway, if I didn't say it, it was an indoor car boot opposed to an outdoor car boot. Literally, my memory is like three seconds. I did not even remember if I had said indoor car boot at the start of this video. But anyway... Um, yeah, really, really nice, uh, you know, bread and butter finds, um, happy with what I got, I, I spent £36.50 on all of this stuff, it's crazy considering the amount of stuff I got to be honest, um, so yeah, anyway, without further ado, I'll get straight on with it, I'll share a bit of a fail first off, or, well, not necessarily an outright fail, but it might be, um, I paid £2.50 for this pepper Pig thing, but this comes off, like this just comes off. And when I try and attach it back on, someone will be able to help me out on this. But when I try and attach it back on, it clips like that. Did you hear that clip? But then, it just ends up coming straight back off again. So, I think that might be broken. So, I paid £2.50 for that. It might be broken. It might be a complete dud. Um, if it isn't broken, um, then it seems to go with the figures. I've got about four figures in here. And a, like a barbecue and something. But with the figures in that, it's only about £10 plus postage. But at least that, you know, if, if it isn't broken, um, and that is what that roof is, is supposed to do, at least I'll be able to get a bit of money out of it. But anyway, that's that. Um, I got something for myself. I know, how unusual. I never get something for myself at a car boot. Well, very rarely, because I'm too fixated on uh, buying stuff to resell. Um, but I got this, uh, what is it, Nemesis Kane Pro Edition keyboard. Uh, well, it is a gaming combo pack, however, there's no mouse with it, it was just a keyboard. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted this keyboard, I don't even know why. I'm kind of getting into this weird habit of, like, buying techie stuff, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, basically, I'll probably just switch out, the current keyboard I've got is like a glowing red one, probably switch that one out because this one, I think this one glows red and blue, or if it doesn't glow red, red or blue, it's either or. Um, so hopefully it's a blue one because then that'll be different to my red one and I've also got a rainbow one at the side Well, basically the side of my desk that I'll switch out at some point as well So that then I can have a rainbow glow keyboard, but I'm just obsessed with buying like different techie stuff I suppose um, but yeah, so that was that one um, And actually it did make me think when I bought it hang on a minute I could look at keyboards to resell at car boots as well So it was actually quite good. It was like an epiphany moment when I bought it for myself because it made me realise, hang on, I need to be looking, when there are keyboards, you know, at the car boot, I need to be looking to see if any of them are decent enough to sell. I mean, certainly, like, Razer ones and stuff, they've got to be good second-hand. So, yeah, it gave, gave, gave me a little epiphany, epiphany moment there. So, yeah, I got that anyway for myself. Uh, what else? Oh, the guy said I can have this. They, well, I can have this for two quid, not just have it, but... I can have this for two quid. It's a Sony speaker docking system. It has a power lead that is down there. I'll get it in a second. It is a Sony branded one. Um, and basically, it wasn't that I was wanting. It wasn't that I was wanting. I was wanting this. Now, this, I believe, is an iPod Nano, an iPod Shuffle. I think it's a Shuffle. Um, and it's a pink one. Now, as soon as I saw this, because I have never seen these in the wild. I don't know why, but you'd think I'd see them all the time. But I've never seen one. Um, but I remember ages ago, I think it was Zaheer, who, who said that, like, the first generations of these, or the second generations or whatever, you can, like, trade them into Apple or something like that and get, like, a certain amount of money for them. So you could either basically, like, list them on auction on eBay and then, like, people will buy them to then get a little bit of profit sending them into Apple or whatever and then, like, getting some money back for them. Or you can, like, just send them into Apple or something. But I don't know... I don't know whether that is this is the generation that is that, but either way, I thought I'd take a punt on it. Uh, they said it's working but needs a charge. I don't know whether it's working, to be honest. Um, but I thought at two quid, 
I've got this and I've got that speaker system and I've got actually I've got the charger for that speaker system. So I thought if the speaker system works and everything, I've got my two quid back in that surely. So I thought yeah, I'll, I'll take a punt on this one. But anyway, I don't know. Someone will probably throw down below in the comment section about that kind of generation thing with these and whether that is actually a thing or whether it's me just like remembering the situation the wrong way around or something. But yeah, anyway, that's that. So like that, a little bit outside my comfort zone, really. I mean, yeah, okay, I deal in electricals and stuff, but not necessarily iPods and iPhones and all that sort of stuff. That's a little bit outside my comfort zone. Anyway, that's that. Um, I'm not going to get all this out because actually it goes funny with the green screen. Well, you can actually see here, no, there, that is actually green. So there's not much point me getting this out because it, half of it is just going to be invisible on the green screen. But basically... Well, I'll get this first bit out, because this won't be invisible. Well, the bottom bit is. Uh, but it's a zoo. It's like a little zoo set. Uh, I don't know what the brand is, if any. Oh, it's an uh, early learning centre, so that's alright. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different bits and bobs in there, and there's loads of different animals and stuff. Um, I don't know what this goes for. I didn't research it, unfortunately. Um, but I think it's got to be £15 plus postage, because there's a lot of it in there. Oh, and I paid two quid for that as well. So, you know, two quid into hopefully about £15 plus postage with the amount of stuff that's in there. Uh, then, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Might be a little bit more than I'm thinking, but, you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it is a learn centre, so that's okay. You know, you get some sort of bread and butter money for this early learning centre stuff. And there's some of it that goes for good money as well. Uh, I think there's like a castle, and if you have like a castle with a load of knights and everything or something, that goes for good money. But anyway, I forget, I forget. Uh, there's too much, too many items in my brain, uh, you know, that I'm trying to remember the value on, on these days, that some things I just forget. Um, but anyway, so next is, uh, basically, I think I'll do most of the things that I don't particularly know price on, and then I'll do things, most of the other stuff that I do know price on. Um, I don't know the price on this, and I don't even know what it is. Um, it does talk, but I don't know where the button is anymore. I found the button easy enough at the car boot sale, but I can't find it now, anyway. Uh, but there is a button on it. I'm thinking it might be Jake and the Neverland Pirates, but I'm not, I'd say I'm not 100% sure. Um... But yeah, hopefully, if it, you know, if I find out what it is, maybe I can try and find find some figures for it in the charity shops or whatever in the next week or two, and then it might give it a better chance of uh, selling because something like this, a playset like this, without any figures, it's going to be slightly harder to sell. Okay, yeah, it's going to appeal to people who maybe already have some figures, um, but yeah, that's that one. I only paid a quid for it, so I was quite happy with that. Um, so that was that one. Um, so that's that there. Um, what else did I... What else is maybe I don't know the value on? Um, uh, no, I can't really find much else, actually. Most, most of the other stuff I already know the value on. So, yeah, I'll just sort of go through this. Anyway, this I don't know the value on. It, again, I got it for a quid. It's like a... It's basically a ship. And it's like one of these construction ones that you put things in the holes here and then build it up kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know what brand this is, if any. Um, but yeah, I just got that because it was a quid. It was on the same stall as the Zoo and the Neverland Pirates. So I thought, a quid, I'll just throw it in on the bundle deal. Because um, it was like four quid all in. So I thought, I'm safe on the Zoo anyway. Um, but yeah, so I got that. It's got some other little bits here. Um... But I don't really know on that. It's, it's a bit kind of odd. It's a bit out there. Because I don't even know how you kind of attach this all together. But anyway, that's that. So a quid, I was having that. No trouble. Um, next was uh, something quite nice, actually. Uh, oh, the light's going off there. Uh, brand new and sealed. This is the item I was talking about that I'm quite happy with. Uh, brand new and sealed 1999 edition of Battleship by MB Games. Really, really happy with this. Goes for 50 quid on Amazon, but unfortunately it has quite a high rank. That rank may actually improve a little bit when we come close to Christmas, because right now what I kind of call this time is like the death zone. Um, you know, in between like April and maybe August, that sort of time, for Amazon in terms of toys and stuff. Because what happens is the ranks go really, really good, you know, like, well, really, really low, which is good. Um, towards quarter four, 
and then maybe even January and Feb are okay as well. But then slowly the ranks will just drop off the cliff and go really, really high, which is bad. Um, and throughout summer there'll be like really bad ranks. But then, you know, come Christmas again, once we're out of the, the death zone, this is going to go, the rank is going to go down a little bit, which as I say is good. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to send that in come Christmas and hopefully achieve 50 quid or maybe more. But we'll see. It doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes ranks don't actually improve as much as you think and therefore it wouldn't be uh, worth sending this in. But we'll see anyway on that one. If I have to start on eBay at Christmas, it's probably going to be about 30, 40 quid. Like 40 quid at most. I think that might be a bit over-exaggerating. But 30 definitely at Christmas this. But yeah, anyway... Uh, still, it was a nice pickup from two quid. I won't say no to that, you know. Um, next was basically I got. I don't even know why I picked this up. I picked this up with this, right? In fairness, I picked this up with this, and I paid three quid for that. And I didn't scan this in. Don't even know why I didn't scan this in. But basically, I thought, right, that there, that brand new sealed box set on Amazon is like twenty-two quid. So I thought, right, that's three quid. I've got a little bit of room to make a punt now because even if I make a punt of like two quid, um, then basically I'm still going to be in profit on that box set. So I, that was my punt, and it cost me one fifty. And it, it ended up like a bad punt because it only goes for like six, seven quid. And it's not the best uh, sales rank either, so I might not even send it in, to be honest. I might just get my money out of it on eBay. Um, but yeah, overall, I'll be on profit in profit on that bundle, because that one goes to 22 and I paid 450 for both of those. So yeah, always look at it on an overall sense. Don't look at it on an individual item basis. Not all the time, anyway. That's how I do things. Um, next was this... Uh, oh, I think it's a leopard-style trunky... Um, yeah, I got this for three quid. Yeah, three quid I got this for. Unfortunately, it has got this, which is meant to tuck in under here. And for whatever reason, it won't go. This is actually my fault. This was fine when I bought it. I actually picked it up and it was fine when I was walking away. But uh, when it was in the car, for some reason, like when I was putting it in the car, it ended up coming loose. So I don't know whether there's a way to get that back in. But it would really, really help the saleability and just, uh, you know, it might harm the price a little bit with that actually coming out. So, yeah, three quid. Don't know what these trunkies go for these days, but I'm, I'm imagining no less than 20 quid. That would be including postage. But, you know, this one's a little bit special, so it might be a little bit more. Um, but I think it's a leopard. I'm not really sure because that face looks like a bit like Pikachu or something now, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's probably like a leopard or something. Um, but that was a good pickup again for three quid. I'll take that all day long. Um, next was a Toy Story plush. This goes for ten pounds free postage. Paid a quid for this. Um, I only got it because it had a tag, and I thought I'd take a punt on it. So yeah, nothing more to be said about that one. You know, one pound into uh, ten pound, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Next was this Inside Out Joy plush, uh, again brand new with tags, not really seeing this exact one go, uh, you know, brand new and sealed, not brand new and sealed, but brand new t with a tag, um, I've seen it go used for like 4 quid, 5 quid and even less and a little bit more, um, but yeah, I'm hoping for maybe 12 99 plus postage, 10 to £12 plus my postage anyway on this, judging by other solds, uh, of very, very similar items that have gone brand new and sealed. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. I paid a quid for that. I don't know what I said, so I was happy with that. Um, again, another nice little plush. Um, this is a Sven. It is a Disney stamped one. Don't know if you'll be able to. Let me let me actually grab the hoof that's stamped there. Disney store with its stamp. Uh, brand new and sealed. Uh, not brand, brand new and sealed. I keep saying brand new and sealed. It's brand new and tagged. Brand new with tags. Um, but yeah, so it's a little Sven one. Quite, well, I say little, it's quite a big plush, actually, or fairly long plush. Uh, yeah, it seems to go from about 14 99 plus post up to 19 99 plus, plus post. Um, but that is because it's brand new with tags. If it, what if it was used, it would be a bit less than that. Um, but yeah, nice score on that. Paid a quid again. So, yeah, nice little scores on the plushies. Nice bread and butter items there. Um, well, actually, I've just seen this one, and it's deflated me a little bit. This wasn't a nice score. I paid one fifty for this. It's a, like a, what is it, Dreams? It's the bed specialist or something. Um, yeah, it, it's brand new. It's listed, and I don't know where it's sold for this, but brand new it's listed 
it uh, at about 20 quid, 25 quid. But used, I'm, I'm going to be lucky to get a tenner out of this, to be honest. So, not the best. Paid 150 for that one as well. It's funny because this is the least valuable one, but I paid the most for it, which is quite ironic, really. But anyway, that's that one. Um, next is this Matchbox um, little, I'm not going to get it out, but it's a little fold-away playset. I think it's called, like, Adventure Croc Trail or something. I don't know. Anyway, one is sold with a few different cars. For £22.50 plus postage. Mine has only got one off-brand car though. So I might be going £14.99 plus post. I might shoot for £19.99 plus post. Because there isn't any on at the moment in the UK. So yeah, I might go a little bit higher. Maybe £19.99 plus post. But it's whether people you know, are going to want it without any of the actual matchbox style cars. So, I don't know. You know, it might need to come down a little bit. But still, paid two quid for that. So, it's still a decent margin. Um, and that'll be plus postage, obviously. Like, 14 99 plus post or 19 99 plus post. Um, next, uh, something I thought had more value. But again, it's a case of kind of just being in the death zone. And we've got to wait till Christmas. Um, this was 50p brand, uh, new, new downfall. I nearly said brand new and sealed downfall. But it's just because it says new up there. Uh, but new downfall... This generally goes for much more than it's currently going on Amazon. It goes at Christmas, you're like 20, 25 quid on this, or it was last Christmas anyway. But um, now, now at this time of the year, it's gone. It's going for like eight quid. So yeah, it's a case of just waiting on that one. I've not checked to see it's com see if it's complete, so it might actually be incomplete. But even so, I'll probably just sell it for spares if it's incomplete on eBay. You know, just kind of harvest it for parts or whatever. Um, but yeah, 50p. I wasn't going to say no. So that's that one. Uh, nice little profit, you know, come Christmas time. Um, next was a little Tonka truck. Uh, Mudslinger, this one's called. Don't know if you're going to see that there on the bottom here. Mudslinger. Um, yeah, none have sold. I can't see any listed or otherwise. Um, so probably going to go 7 quid plus post. Maybe shoot for a 10 plus post on that. But it's going to be in that range. I wouldn't want to take much less than that for that. Because it's quite nice. Uh, quite well be built. Quite strong. And Tonka is a good brand. So, you know, I'll probably go around that anyway. Um, so that's that one anyway. Oh, paid a quid for that. I don't know what I said. Um, next. Uh, something I probably paid a little bit too much for again. Uh, but three quid I paid for this. Um, none have sold brand new and sealed, which is quite odd. One is on for brand new. This is brand new and sealed, by the way, on eBay. Um, one is on brand new for twenty three, and one is on brand new for forty two. I don't think they're achievable, personally. I think maximum you're going to get on this brand new and sealed, even at Christmas time, is going to be like fourteen ninety nine plus post. So uh, yeah, I'll probably go for around that. Maybe let it sit for a while. Or if I want a quicker sale, maybe twelve ninety nine plus post, something like that. But I really don't think forty two quid is achievable. Or even to be honest, twenty three. Uh, maybe at Christmas time that twenty three, but it, it seems a it still seems a bit too much in my opinion. Um, but yeah, none have sold brand new and sealed, so that's what's giving me that hesitation. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will price competitively on that one, and then hopefully it will sell. Um, so that's that. Uh, oh, did I? Yeah, I said three quid on that one, so I paid a little bit too much. I would have been more comfortable at two quid or one quid, um, but I did end up paying it in the end. Um, next is this Mike the Knight um, combo. It's got the sword and it's got the hat or the helmet. Um, yeah, pretty cool this. I paid two quid. Uh, gonna shoot for maybe twelve ninety nine plus post. I've seen someone get ten pound plus post, and I think I've seen someone get twelve ninety nine plus post. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna shoot for on those. Nice little bundle, nice little thing to look out for, especially if you can get it for a quid or something like that. But yeah, I did pay two quid for it. But I thought, you know what? I've seen that on someone's video, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'll pay two quid, just whisk it, you know, take a punt on that. So yeah, quite happy with that one in the end anyway. So about twelve ninety nine plus post on that. From two quid, so that's pretty cool. Nice bread and butter item. Um, next is a bit of Sylvanian families, a little um, bus, or yeah, like, yeah, I think it's a bus or something. Um, but yeah, this is Applewood Department Store uh, bus. It is a little bit dirty on the top. I don't know if you're gonna see that. Yeah, you probably can see that. But it's a little bit dirty on the top. Um, yeah, these only go without any accessories and stuff. It's like ten or plus post. Um, I paid two pound for that, so. Again, you know, it was okay, but nothing amazing. Um, so that's that one. 
And then finally, uh, no, not finally, there's another couple of items actually. Um, we've got this 2003 Toy Biz uh, car. There's one on for 55 and then there's one on for... It's kind of weird, the price difference in these. There's one listed for 55 and then there's one listed for £12 plus postage. I think, realistically, the guy with £12 plus postage is, you know, more on the money. Maybe... Maybe you could shoot for fourteen ninety nine or so, or maybe twenty. Um, but really, this doesn't. This is meant to have a figure, and it doesn't have a figure. And the two guys that have got them listed, they don't have the figures. I don't think. So really, if you get the figure, it, you know, it might go for maybe twenty quid, something like that. But it's very hard to determine because there's no solds I can see on this. So it's kind of just a guessing game with price, you know, and just hoping someone comes along and uh, kind of pays the money, really. But yeah, that's that one. Um, and then finally I've got a few jigsaws, brand new and sealed jigsaws, uh, paid the equivalent of £1.66 reoccurring for these because I got the free for a fiver, is that right? £1.66, yeah £1.66, um, so yeah I got this brand new and sealed Gibson the big top, now what I'm going to do with these is maybe just blanket price them at like £12.99 a piece plus postage or maybe fourteen ninety nine, and just wait till Christmas, and hopefully we'll get picked off for around that range. I will do individual research, and if one is like mega, mega money or whatever, I'll price it accordingly. But I just think that they're not going to be worth more than that anyway. But yeah, brand new silver big top uh, Gibsons, I'll say. So hopefully these will go come Christmas time, um, and it's a nice little bit of money in the bank come Christmas. Um, and then yeah, this is actually a Christmas related one. Uh, Christmas memories. I will be listing all these now. You know, I'm not just going to keep them for Christmas and then list them. Um, but yeah, this is a Christmas related one. Gibsons again. So that's quite nice. Quite big puzzles as well, like 500 piece or more, I think. Yeah, I think we're about 500 piece. I can't see. Oh no, this is a thousand. This is a thousand piece one. So it's quite big. That other one was a 500 piece. And then we've got a uh, Paul Lamon Games Where's Wally uh, thousand piece puzzle. Again, I'm going to go for about the same on this price wise. And as I say, it cost me £1.66. So again, I was just going to pick them up just to let them sit or whatever till Christmas and uh, get picked off then. Anyway, that is everything I believe. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Nice large haul today. Plenty of bread and butter items to keep me busy. Plenty of stuff to get listed and build an inventory with. And uh, yeah, I will leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer. If you like the video, please do give it a like down below. Um, if you... Oh, what do I normally say now? If you uh, would like to throw a comment down there, below, then please do so. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, that's it. Uh, then don't forget to visit the Amazon affiliate links down below. There we go. There are the three things I normally say. Anyway, we got there in the end. I'll see you very soon, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. See ya.